Okay, hello folks and welcome to, uh, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna call this part one of my getting started Subnautica videos. Uh, in this one I'm going to uh, show you guys the uh, first what I consider the most basic things you'll probably want to grab or craft at the beginning of the game to get you, uh, get you started basically. <clears throat> so the first three basic things you'll want to get are your scanner tool, your swim fins, and your basic oxygen tank, which and I'll probably end up crafting two of those, um, because, you know, swimming faster, staying underwater longer, and, you know, you need the scanner tool for pretty much every other blueprint you ever want to get your hands on. So what we're going to do, <coughs> since the game doesn't really, you know, tell you a lot of stuff tutorial-wise, I'm going to pop over the fabricator and actually find out what it takes, materials-wise, to make the scanner tool. So it's, you know, under here, uh, under personal tools, and there's a scanner right there. So it requires a battery and titanium. And to make a battery, since it doesn't really tell you how to do, <laughs> like, what, what do you need for a battery? Well, you go to resources, electronics, and there's a battery right there. It requires two acid mushrooms and a copper ore. So uh, I'm guessing the life pod scans some of the local environment. <laughs> anyway, let's pop out of here and uh, you know see where we are and see what we've got to work with in the water. As well as just how royally screwed they are. <laughs> yeah. I think we in trouble. Ship don't look too good. Okay, so considering how small it looks, or how I guess how it looks in terms of size compared to where I am, I'm going to say I'm probably about maybe midway across the uh, the shallows. So, yeah, the ship is, is, is massive, so <laughs> trust me, it, it's a lot bigger up close. But uh, yeah, so okay, I think I know where I am. Not that it really matters right now. Okay, so we're going to hop in the water here and uh, start uh, finding stuff I need. So I'm currently playing on freedom mode, which means I don't have to worry about hunger or thirst, which is nice. I can just focus on not drowning and uh, not getting killed by things. <coughs> Alright, so it looks like I'm on the edge of a red grass zone, so that's good. Um, gotta find some limestone chunks, which are hopefully nearby. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Oh, air bubble. Can I use you? No. Let's just go back up. Uh, okay, acid mushrooms. So these are acid mushrooms here. Doop, doop. Need two of those. I'm going to grab four just because. Head back up because I'm literally literally swimming in the ocean holding my breath. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking for limestone. And I think I might be able to find some down here. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm not exactly in the best starting place, to be honest. <clears throat> in terms of basic resources. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, watch out for those... Uh, green-tailed whale-looking things, because you get too close and they'll make this weird farting noise and I guess uh, squirt out some highly toxic goop stuff that is uh, corrosive as well. <laughs> Basically, it's acid and it will melt you. <coughs> I literally died in hardcore mode because of that stuff. And, uh, you know, you only get one life in hardcore mode, so, yeah. Fortunately, I was still around the beginning of the game, so it wasn't completely wasting my time, but still, it sucked regardless. Oh man, where is limestone? Wait, what was that? Oh my god, one of those things over here. <laughs> okay, so I need titanium and I need copper. Now, copper you get out of the same place. What the hell? Oh, weird. Okay, um, copper you get. <laughs> You get out of the same uh, limestone outcroppings. Okay, good. I found some titanium. This here can break down into titanium. <coughs> um, but you need can only get copper out of limestone. What do you want? Me. Wrong button. What is the PDA button? Oh, gosh. I don't remember anymore. Circle? Huh. This button? Nope. <laughs> that button. There we go. Jesus. 
Okay, I don't care about that. Let's uh, get back to the surface here. Oh, sorry, I don't normally play this game with my controller. But I figured I'd do that so I'm a little bit more used to it. Oh, my, it is one of those things. Uh, I think it will help people who are used to controller. You can see how, honestly, the controller I do like it. Oh, there it is. Limestone. I like the controller because you have two buttons that allow you to rise and, and descend. Copper nice. Is an essential component of all so I'm power. L1 button to go the up, and you know R1 to go down. And it comes in handy when you can use all four, you two, both your thumbs and the uh, two controller buttons to maneuver about, in my opinion. <coughs> so I just got copper, and I now ha I have titanium. I can now make my battery, and I can now make my scanner tool. And the scanner tool, like I said, you need it for scanning pretty much everything. Uh, scanning stuff lets you know what things are and well as what they might possibly be useful for. And you definitely need it in order to scan blueprints in order to make other things. So let's make my titanium. <coughs> okay, make my battery. And now I will make my scanner. Ta-da! Takes one titanium and one the battery. Can be used to synthesize blueprints from Dang on, take here. And to record alien biological data. Okay, so it looks like I also have enough materials to make the standard O2 tank, uh, three titanium. So I've already got one ready. I'm going to go find some more titanium to make a second one. And the reason why I want a second one is that I can actually switch tanks out if I'm running out of air on the first one. And with a new DLC, not DLC, a new update for this game that brings a few things from Below Zero, which is the sequel, um, uh, once I actually download it, because I don't have it right now, <coughs> I will uh, be able to uh, actually pause the game while I'm in my PDA menu. So if I'm really close to running out of air, I can switch the tank over without drowning <laughs> in the process. But anyway, I'm going to make this one now, so I actually have an oxygen tank. And then... We're going to look up our fins here. Silicone rubber. Okay, so I actually know how to find that. Um, how do I make silicone rubber? Well, let's go find out under basic materials. Silicone rubber, you need creep vine seed clusters. Two of those. So what I'm going to... or No. You get one out of a creep vine seed cluster. Actually, no. There's another animation if you go out the first time in the out of the bottom one. So creep vine is uh, I think you might have seen some over in this direction was this over here? this direction I don't recall definitely probably some over here <laughs> oh, there it is you can see in the distance that stuff over there that's creep vine <coughs> and it's the creep vine clusters are actually the seeds and they, crazily enough they actually glow in the dark and if you have enough of them you can actually use them to provide lighting around your base or you know wherever you happen to want to plant stuff which is awesome. Oh, of course, you have to wait for it to grow first, and you need a place to grow it in, but hey, details, details. Anyway, so we're heading over to uh, our nearest creep vine seed cluster spot, which is in the middle of the kelp forest. Let's go give a scan. There's my scanner tool there. Scan. 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 No, oh, wrong button. Haha, <laughs> I knew that. Oh, that's not good. We got a stalker who's all infected in front of me. Get up, grab, grab, grab. Get up to the off. Gotta get air, gotta get air. No, don't drown. <laughs> okay. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Creep line. Okay. Right, let's find that cluster again. And give that a scan, too. Because. There we go. Aha! Now back to the old life pod. And uh, give me a few seconds here. I'm actually gonna change how it looks to a different color so it's easier to find the, in the ocean. Oops, wrong button. This one. That one. Okay, um, right here. There we go. Yellow. Now if that doesn't stand out, I don't know what it does. And holy crap, it's dark. <laughs> gonna stay on the surface here where it's safe. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, let's go scan everything else while I'm at it. <sighs> so, here's our acid mushrooms. Let's scan those. 
There we go. Now we have understanding what those are all about. Uh, little quick little uh, piece of, in, uh, or I guess, uh, tidbit of information. You actually swim faster with nothing in your hands. Kind of makes sense, I guess. All right, so we just got our creep vine clusters, which we can use to make our swim fins. Let's make our silicone rubber here. I don't remember how much of it we need, so I'll make two. Or, I guess, four. Um, what else? What else is in here? Oh, yeah, I see. Sometimes when you craft something for the first time, it'll unlock new blueprints, which are like an advanced version of it. Like, um, the oxygen tank here. I crafted that, and now I have blueprints for the high-capacity O2 tank. Anyway, there's my swim fins. My, uh, the game will automatically equip them. And there we go. I have all the basic equipment I need to start out and really start, you know, digging a little deeper into exploring and finding things. <coughs> so, uh, there we go. Scanner tool, swim fins, and basic oxygen tank. And I'm going to end the video here go grab a second oxygen tank, and then we'll move on to the next three, possibly four things that I think you'll need. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Peace.